Let's simplify the fraction 20 36. Here's how we do that. So we want to find another fraction that's equivalent. It has the same value as 20 over 36. It's just that we've simplified it or reduced it to its lowest terms. To do that, we need to find a common factor, something that goes into 20 and 36. So these are the factors for 20 and 36. So when I look at the factors of 20 and 36, I'm looking for the greatest common factor. And it looks like the largest number that goes into 20 and 36, that's going to be 4 right here. So we divide 20 by 4 and 36 by 4, and we'll have simplified 20, 36. Let's move this over here. So we divide 20 by 4, we get 5. Then we divide 36 by 4, we get 9. And we've simplified 20, 36 down to 5 ninths. We can't simplify this or reduce it any further. Again, these are equivalent fractions. 20 divided by 36 and 5 by 9, it'll give you the same value. They're equivalent, it's just that we've simplified or reduced 20, 36 down to 5 ninths. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.